Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode 110. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I uh, got a few, what was here? Four finished objects. <laughs> I can't talk. Try again. I've got four finished objects to share with you, and I don't have any active whips. I finished my only active, active whip last night, and then um, I haven't worked on the Christmas tree skirt since last time I showed it, so. I don't count it. There's a bunch of shadows because it's evening. It's almost seven o'clock and I procrastinate all day doing house stuff and um, this is what I'm filming. <laughs> Trying to move it. If you see this light down here moving, that's my wind chime outside. I think it's pretty, but whatever. All right, let's get into my finished objects. I got, um, I've been doing like my stash buster. I had to move the camera. It looked like it was leaning. But I'm co-hosting the May 2020 Stash Buster with Crystal over at Chronically Crocheting. So uh, head down in the description box and check her channel out if you haven't. And to enter the giveaway for this month, you have to be subscribed to her channel and my channel. And then you can post your entries on my Facebook group or email them to me if you don't use Facebook. Um, what else? The theme is to use yarn from your stash and patterns from your stash, whether it's from books or that you downloaded on your phone or your tablet or your computer or you print it or, you know, whatever. Just patterns you've been holding on to forever to uh, use. So with that theme, every uh, three of my finished objects are from books. One is just something that I thought was cute and I wanted to make. <laughs> but it was on my bookmarks on my laptop for a while, so I think it still counts. Like you can see my tripod in that reflection. <laughs> That's funny. But anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start at the top of my list. I have my computer right here with my notes on it. This is finished, but I haven't woven in the ends, so it's not 100% finished. But I did make another one of the Sunflower Squares. I made one of these last week. And, um, I'm planning on making a bunch of them and making something for my mom. Haven't quite gotten to where I, I know what I'm going to make. But I'm just going to pop out a few of these. They're super easy and quick. Um, so I think I'll just make them until I decide what to make <laughs> for her. But, uh, yeah, see, the, the ends are still everywhere. But I'll weave them in eventually. And this is actually from a book. Let's see here. This is a book that I was gifted earlier this year. It's right here. 3D Granny Square. So I have had this in my stash for a while. Um, it's by a, a few different people. But uh, it's all available on Amazon. I, I didn't look at this book. I forgot. I'll link this below if you're interested in uh, checking it out. I didn't look. Normally, I like to look to see if they're on sale, but I don't know if this one's on sale right now. But it's got all kinds of really cute um, square patterns. So there's the sunflower that I made. So that's the second one I made. It came out great. Uh, just like I said last time, this one came out larger because I'm using worsted weight yarn instead of DK. And the book calls for DK yarn. But I, I like it. <laughs> Either way, I think it looks great. So uh, two down and I don't know how many more to go. <laughs> but this is all red heart yarn. I forgot to say that. It's uh, patty green saffron i think and i think this is chocolate or coffee i can't remember <laughs> it's one of the two that's just yarn i've had in a while for a while all right so i didn't show that book let me move it my next finished object also came out of a book that was gifted to me <laughs> this one is called whimsical stitches this one is on sale i did look at this one and i wrote a note to tell you that it's on sale it's normally 22.99 and it's on sale for 13.99 right now and this has got a ton of cute patterns in it as you can see i've made the pumpkin pie and the cupcakes and now i've made <laughs> this is so funny it's all squished up because jesse got a hold of it and was playing with it oh his mouth's messed up i just noticed that kids the mouth is messed up i gotta fix the mouth but i made an onion <laughs> it looks it looks so good before jesse got a hold of it now it's all dinty i had it nice and circular but it's an onion <laughs> And its mouth is messed up. He pulled its mouth out. But that's okay. It's, you know, kids. Kids do that. I just made this because I wanted to. Like, I have no reason. I wasn't planning on putting it in my amigurumi stash or anything. It's just an onion. I thought it was cute and I made it. <laughs> it looks all weird now. So I'll just give it to Jesse and let him play with it. But it's a cute onion. And it is in the book. Towards the end. There's food. I just made it while watching TV. I just wanted something to crochet. And that's what I made. The onion. See, it was more round like they are, <laughs> but Jesse got a hold of it. I didn't even know he had it until it went flying by, and I realized he was throwing it around like a ball. <laughs> but I'll just give it back to him, and he can play with it. But this is a really good book. Like I said, I've made I've made the cupcakes, 
and the onion. What else did I make? The pie. Is it on the cover? Yeah, right here. I made the pumpkin pie and the cupcakes. And I want to make the little duck. And I was going to make the jellyfish the other day before I made the onion. But I just didn't feel like making all those tentacles. <laughs> it looks like they're just chains and then you single crochet back into them. But I still, I just didn't feel it. So I made the onion. But I'm happy with that. And like I said, this book is on sale right now if you want to go check it out. And it's a really good book. I like it a lot. Okay. And then, from another book, <laughs> so I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing all my um, patterns from books, which is my theme. From this book, which I won in a giveaway, it's uh, 101 Easy Scrap Crochet Projects. Did I read that right? Yeah. <laughs> it is available on Amazon, but I think you can't buy it, like, new. I think you can only buy it used from other places on Amazon, but you can check it out if you want to. You can also get it at Thirst Books and probably some other places. But, um... Recently, I shared this pattern that I made, if I can find it. Normally, I have it up. Oh, no, this isn't marked. Yes. And it is the Bag Lady. I thought she was cute. She's You put plastic bags, like shopping bags in her, which I don't even have. Look at mine. It's empty. I'm down to like one or two bags because we haven't been saving them because of the COVID thing. But, um, so it's almost empty now. And I won't be saving them until... All this is over and I, I did start using reusable bags but again because of the COVID stuff I don't want to take my bags into the stores and bring them home so we've just been you know getting our the bags from the store and then just throwing them away but anyways here is mine she's all finished except her mouth I haven't stitched on her mouth yet because I can't figure out how I want to do that but here she is <laughs> I think she's cute oh, I forgot to say the yarn I'm not sure what this yarn is because it was a scrap ball that was gifted to me and then it's just red heart white <laughs> and said yes and this her bag is made out of the same thing that onion is her skin is I love this yarn light peach and her dress and hat is a red heart super saver but I can't remember what the color was the the ball I had of it was gifted to me and it didn't have a ball band but I know it's red heart it's either Monet or um wildflowers or something like that maybe it's water lily or something i can't remember but yeah her hat i had issues with and i'll show you that in a minute when you make her you start from her head and you go all the way down to here and then her arms in the bag are separate and her hat is separate uh and she's you know a hole so you can stuff the plastic bags in there you can also make a drawstring which i haven't done that yet so i guess she's not done <laughs> to uh tighten up the bottom there's also an end there that i missed but that's okay i'll do that later <laughs> Um, and I will hang her up somewhere and stuff her full of bags once I'm able to save them again. But I do need to do a mouth. And I gave her blue eyes. <laughs> but her hat, I followed the pattern. And it's not written in UK terms. Um, and the rest of her turned out perfect. But her hat came out, like, three times bigger than her head. Her hat was, like, this, that, that big. It was huge. So, and I didn't even realize it because I wasn't, I didn't have her with me when I was making it. So after I made it, I was like, okay, this isn't going to work. I had to rip her hat out and then I just kind of winged it a little bit. I made pretty much the same pattern. I just used smaller stitches and less rows. So her hat doesn't look exactly the way it does in the book, but uh, I'm happy with it. <laughs> it looks kind of like a bonnet or something. But I think she's adorable. And I used up scrap. I used up pretty much all of this color here. I still got a lot of this color, but that's all right because I can use it for onions <laughs> and other things. And I do have a little ball left of my peach. I'm going to have to get some more of that soon. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I think she's cute. She's got a little bag. <laughs> we cute to put something in her bag. But yeah, I can't wait to use her just whenever I can save bags again. So that's my third um, finished object. And now my fourth finished object is super cute. This wasn't made from a book. This was made from the website called stringydingding.com. And her name is Olive. She used to have a YouTube channel, but she quit uh, YouTube to work on her website and design patterns. And uh, she does an awesome job. She has so many cute amigurumi patterns. And they're all free on her website. Or you can purchase the PDF. So it's ad-free and condensed. And I do have a lot of hers purchased. I bought a bunch of the PDFs. But uh, um, I'd kind of like to buy them all. That's how I am when I find designers that I really like. I end up trying to get all their patterns. Kind of like uh, Mary Smith and Heidi Yates. I have so many of their patterns. It's not even funny. Uh, when they give out codes for free patterns, it's hard for me to find one I don't already have. But I'd like to do the same thing with Olive. I'd like to collect all of her um, 
patterns and maybe have them like in my own book <laughs> like a binder because she like everything she makes is super cute and I want to make it but this one is ooh, a crown <laughs> a giant crown scribble 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 I think it's so cute <laughs> I just made this because I made this Mother's Day on Sunday so I was being really lazy that day Devin did really good at taking over uh, Jesse <laughs> and just let me chill I watched TV all day and just laid around and crocheted and it was a lot of fun and um, there are jags there because I did it in continuous circle. I didn't try hard to hide it, but it's on the back, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, so I think it's so cute. You use two shades of whichever color, you know, so it looks like the paper and the crown. Black and pink for the cheeks, and it's super easy. So I just made a blue one. These are both scrap balls that I had. Um, this is like a random, uh, it was an old brand of yarn. I got it gifted. It had the ball band, but I can't remember now. It's called like Country Blue, and it was some brand I didn't recognize. And it definitely feels older. But I've used it on other projects and I just had a little ball of it left and this used up pretty much all of it. <laughs> and then this is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Delft Blue, I think. And then Red Heart Super Saver Black. And this is, I can't remember. It's Red Heart Super Saver, but I can't remember the color name. It's not, uh, maybe Perfect Pink or, no, that's the darker color. Light Pink, I don't know, maybe Pink. It's just a light pink color. And I used Safety Eyes and stitched on the mouth. I think it turned out cute. It's a little lumpy, <laughs> but it's still cute. It'd be so cute to have a whole bunch of different color ones. Or like, you know, like Jesse's going to pre-K this year, hopefully. <laughs> um, I think it'd be cute sitting around the pre-K uh, office, sort of classroom. <laughs> I, think, I just think they're cute. I think cute. But I have a, a friend, her name is Kim. She does craft fairs. It's glitter. I have a face now. Um, locally to me, she lives like a county over. And she told me once that these crowns sell like crazy. Hers looks smaller. So I'm thinking she probably used a smaller hook because I used a G hook. Uh, that's what the pattern called for. But hers seems smaller. But I didn't pick them up and mess with them either. I just seen them on a shelf at the craft fair. So uh, they could have been the same size. But she said that they always sell pretty good. So that's a good note to have. <laughs> but, you know, it's meant to look like a Crayola, obviously. But uh, you don't have to put the name on there. You could even put, if you wanted to do top stitching or just if you actually wanted to graph it out, you could put someone's name on there. That would be cute. Or like a color name. <laughs> But just a little happy crown or you know you could leave the face off and just have a regular crown you know but yeah i just thought it was so cute i wanted to make it forever i had it on my bookmark forever and i was like you know what i'm gonna make it so i did you start up here when i started it i thought it was starting down here so when it was still in the, the this color blue i was like okay this something's up because i was like it should have been switched by now but then I, I read the pattern and realized that it's starting at the top and you work down and it's all one piece um you do have to do some shaping kind of up here, but it's super easy shaping and she explains it well. And uh, the only other pieces are the cheeks, which I, she has the cheeks at the end of the pattern. What I did is when I got to where I was going to start stuffing it and put the safety eyes on, I went ahead and made the cheeks and sewed them on and the mouth so that I could do it while there's a hole. So I can go in and out instead of having to stitch it from the outside, you know. And then I went ahead and finished it and stuffed it and... It's cute. <laughs> I like it. Jesse likes it a lot. He wants to play with it. And I told him he could play with it after my video. So I'll let him play with this and the onion <laughs> after I share it with you guys. But yeah, so this is free pattern on stringydingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingdingding
and a letter. She wrote me a letter, which is private. But she sent me some stickers. These are pretty butterflies and they're glittery. I love stickers. And these are flowers. And these ones are llamas with like llama sayings. <laughs> Super cute. And then she sent a few things for Jesse, which I, I can give him. I'll probably, I'll probably save these and hide them until this weekend and we can do them with him together, me and Devin. But they're little art kits. This is like one of those that you, I think you scrape it or something. Yeah, it comes with like a little scrapey thing. And where you scrape, there's color underneath it. I don't know if they're there. <laughs> um, that'll be fun to watch him do. And then these are the window sun catchers that you paint. So he'll like that. And then she also sent me this magazine. She said she had two copies of it. So this is cool. This has got some really nice looking sweaters and stuff in there. I have never made anything as big as this, but you know, everybody knows that the largest thing I've made is the Mandala Madness, and it turned out ginormous. It was 17 and a half skeins of yarn <laughs> and 50 something thousand stitches. I had it all calculated back then. I don't remember. But this has got a lot of like cabling and just fancy looking stuff, so it'd be nice to maybe, maybe <laughs> uh, dabble in that like this winter when I have nothing to do and I'm stuck at home because this seems like a lot of work. And then also this cute little change purse. It's like a a bear maybe I'm not sure but it is lined on the inside which is cool I think I'm gonna put that in my purse because we do we're doing the cash envelope system so all of our change goes into a jar so I'll probably keep this in my bag to put all the change from when I break bills and um, then it can all go in the jar and what we do with the jar is we fill it once the jar gets full we roll it and take it to the bank and then it goes into savings <laughs> but yeah he's, he looks like he's winking but he, he has a whole eye it's just covered in fur <laughs> Okay, and now the yarn. She sent me these three skeins so that I could work on more of these because I mentioned in my last video that I only have one skein of each of these and I was just, that's why I was planning to make a pillow. But um, she sent me one more of each of those skeins. So now I have more options. I can make more squares so I can make a bigger item or multiple, like I can make two pillows or something. But this is the Red Heart Super Saver Saffron. What is this brown called? Coffee. <laughs> and patty green and then she also added an extra skein which is right up my alley Ta -da! <laughs> it's red heart super saver and it's called americana and it kind of pulls you can see right there it pulls into a flaggish shape that's knitting but i have seen crochet stuff and it's still similar but i'm super patriotic so this is great i've been actually wanting a lot of this and i just never buy it because i'm pretty cheap <laughs> i don't like buying stuff without coupons and stuff and the only place I ever see this kind of yarn is at Walmart, and you can't use coupons at Walmart. Well, I mean, you can, but not yarn coupons. But, uh, so I have no idea what I'll make for this. Probably a hat for myself for, like, 4th of July. Like a headband, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of, because it's really hot here on 4th of July. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But that was from Kara, so thank you so much, Kara, for sending me that. Let me move your letter so I don't lose it. Okay, the next package, and it came with stickers all over it, <laughs> which I thought was cool. Um, came from Sandy at uh, the Whispering Stitcher. I can't speak. And this is the card that she sent. Over there. Now she did send toys for Jesse, and here's two of them. I found two of them. I don't know where the other ones are. It came in a set. Like five or six of them. I don't know. They're the chickens in the living room. I seen it earlier, but they're they're off of a little kid show. Um, oh darn, I can't remember now what it's called. <laughs> but um, this is from that. Me and Jesse had an argue, argument the other day because this is a penguin. And this one Jesse said was a penguin, but it's not. It's a, it's a toucan, right? Because look at its nose. <laughs> it's a toucan. But yeah, so she sent those for him. Whoops. And then she sent me, this is a notebook, and it's actually solid, which is cool. A little notebook. She sent me two rolls of interfacing stabilizer. And this is the kind that I like to use for notion bags and... Uh, crab bags so that's awesome it's a bunch of it too and then she sent me this kit i already opened it <laughs> but it's a bodyology is that how you say it bodycology um i've already been using the hand cream but i stuck it back in there for the picture so uh, i already have a spray open that i'm using so i'm gonna save this or i might put it with all the rest of this except the hand cream in like a toiletry bag because when we, we get on a lot of trips normally and uh it's good to have you know stuff with you hotel stuff isn't that nice but she sent me that and i already have it open 
fit in there. She sent me some yarn. This is Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky. And the color is Berry Burst. Really pretty pink. It looks really red on the camera, but it's definitely pink. <laughs> it's pink tones. I mean, there's some red in it, but it's more pink than red. Love that. And then this is also the same thing. Um, color Seven Seas. Really pretty blue color. And this I'm thinking is the same thing because it looks the same, but it doesn't have a ball band. So I have no idea what the color name is, but it is still really pretty. It's white with pink and purple splotches. Specs. This thing in bird feeder is blinding me. <laughs> and then she also sent me uh, Devon Norville every day. Does this have like a sub name? Soft Worsted. And it's called Baby Pink. Really pretty light pink. I love this yarn. I have one more ball of it that someone gifted me and it's a purple color. It's like eggplant or something. And I used it to make a spider with for Halloween. And I loved working with it. It's so soft and nice. But I've never really bought it myself. Uh, our Hobby Lobby did carry it for a little while. But I think they, they have stopped. So uh, I'll have to try to save up some more of my personal money and um, buy some. That's the yarn she sent. She also sent some fabric. This is a whole yard. And it's like a Paris um, print. Which I need to lay it out now because I need to cut that. And then this is a half of a yard. This is pretty, pretty print. So this will make a bag set. And then this one. I really like this one. Because I like green and black. So this will also make a bag set. So these will be some of the prints coming up soon. In the shop. Alright, I think that's everything from her. And then I did get a couple cards, like I said. This one is from Carrie Penny. She lives, where does she live? North Carolina. I always forget where people live. But um, she, she makes her cards handmade. So it's a handmade card. And it says, a little hay to brighten your day. <laughs> and inside says, you are simply the best ever. <laughs> well, thank you. And then a personal note. How shiny it is. Put that over there. And then I got this card from Janet. Where does Janet live? Wisconsin? That's cool. And it's another birthday um, card. And this did have some, <laughs> it had a $20 bill in it. And I'm laughing because it reminded me of when I was a kid and getting like birthday cards from my aunts and stuff. And when I opened it, because you know, I wasn't expecting that. And I opened it, I was like, oh, because <laughs> it reminded me of being a kid. But um, I appreciate that, Janet, and I appreciate the card. And uh, just so you know, I put it in my personal fund and I'm hoarding it up so I can order some yarn. <laughs> so, um, like I, like I mentioned earlier in another video, we're starting to budget a whole lot differently now because we're trying to meet some uh, financial goals in the next year and a half, two years. And uh, so we've tightened our reins. So now uh, me and Devin only get a certain amount of money to spend every week. So I'm going to hoard mine up so I can do some kind of like yarn haul. <laughs> That's the plan. But thank you so much, Janet, for that. Put that over there. I will hang them up. That one's crooked because I hit it with the clothes basket. <laughs> i got to put a new piece of tape on there. But as you can see, I took down my Valentine's Day and Easter cards. And I put up my birthday cards. That's all that's up there. Oh, and there's a Mother's Day card. And that's that pink one up there. Can you see it? That's the whoop, right there. That's the one Devin gave me. I went ahead and hung it up. This one, I hit it with the clothes basket. Now it's not hanging right. <laughs> kind of but I'll I will put them ones up there too and um, I just like to switch my cards out every now and then I'll leave them up there for a month or two and then I'll switch them out with whatever happy mail I get uh, after that and it's just a piece of junk mail all right I think that's all the happy mail that I can remember oh Jesse did get a package and I have no idea who it's from because it was ordered from Amazon and sent to us and it didn't have a note in it but he got for his birthday a little toolbox with a bunch of little toy tools <laughs> in it and he loves it they're all over his bedroom right now because he was playing with them earlier but it came with um a drill and wrenches and screwdrivers and screws and little things that he can screw the screws in and a cute little tackle tack not tackle box toolbox but it looks like a tackle box and he loves it but i have no idea who bought it so if you bought it and you're watching this thank you so much because he does love it and it made him super excited to get it uh, when it came, I thought it was my safety eyes because I ordered some safety eyes and they're taking forever to get here. And I was like, because it, sh you know, you could shake it and hear it. So when I opened it and I saw that, I was like, what the heck? And there was no note. So sometimes when someone buys something as a gift, there's like a printed out note in there, but it didn't have it. But anyways, we do appreciate it and he loves it and has been playing with it like crazy. <laughs> and the last thing I have to share before I lose all my daylight is some fabric that I have cut for bags in the next update, which 
will be roughly Sunday, but probably a little into next week. I don't know. Just depends on when I get to sew and everything. But I'm going to grab it real quick and share it with you. Okay, so there's going to be four bags with this farm print. I thought this was really cute print. It's just like a farm scene. <laughs> it's got a barn and cows and there's some chickens right there. A rooster and a chicken. I thought it was a really cute print. So there'll be four sets of that in the shop. And there'll be two sets of ladybugs. These are more realistic looking ladybugs instead of cartoony ones. I'm trying not to get my stacks mixed up. And then I got this print. I thought it was cute. There'll be two of these. It's like a teal background with colorful bursts. <laughs> and then I also got a um, purple background with the colorful bursts. And then I got this purple marbly looking print. <laughs> it's really pretty light purple. And then those prints I showed you a minute ago that I got in the mail. And then I got this print, which is like a beach theme. Like sand dunes and stuff. Really pretty. And then there's also a couple more prints down there that I already have pre-cut. Um, I'm going to cut out all my liner material, which is over there. These ones already have their liners cut. But the farm ones and these ones that I showed you a minute ago don't. So I'm going to cut all that out and make sure all those have mates to line them with and then however many liners I have left I will pick out prints from my big stack <laughs> and there's a lot of florals and um like what am I trying to say abstracty prints that I had just down in the deep bottom of my stash so I'm not sure what all the bags will back there'll be some random ones I guess but there's gonna roughly be maybe around 30 sets and uh if I can get any more notion pouches or anything like that out I will and um I'm also this Angela if you're watching <laughs> This week when I'm sewing all these is when I will also sew those two crab bags for you. And then when I get them done, I will mail them out. And, uh, I just didn't want to, because my sewing machine is up on a shelf until I clean off my table. <laughs> and, um, you know, start sewing. So I didn't want to start sewing until I was ready to sew all of it so that I'm done cutting. Because right now my cutting mat's on this table. So once the sewing machine comes down, all the cutting stuff goes up. And then once I get the sewing machine out, I want to do all my sewing and then clean it real good and put it back on the shelf until I'm ready to sew again. So that's why I haven't done your bags yet. But I got them laid out over here with the fixtures and everything's all ready to go. I just got to finish cutting the liners and then the interfacing and then iron the interfacing. And then I can start sewing. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but um, it's a lot of fun too. I do enjoy. I love shopping for fabric, but I haven't been able to do that. This fabric that I have, you know, like I said, these ones were gifted to me. And all those prints I just showed you, I ordered online, which was fine. You know, it was a good thing. It took a couple weeks to get here, which was annoying. But um, I don't like being able, not being able to touch the fabric and see the print all the way, you know, fold it out and see it real good in person. So I cannot wait till <laughs> everything's safe to go back shopping and fabric isn't sold out everywhere because of all the masks. But hopefully that will be not too far away. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because, like I said, it's sun setting and it's getting, you know, the lighting's real bad. <laughs> but I think I shared everything. Links will be below for all the books and the websites that I talked about. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I did want to give you a, a preference or whatever, preface. <laughs> um, there's going to be a giveaway coming up soon and it involves Amigurumi. So keep your eyes peeled for that because <laughs> it won't say that it's a giveaway on the video because I want real watchers to get it so um you know just keep your eyes peeled for videos that aren't no kitchen name episodes and you should uh be able to find the giveaway fairly easily if you watch the video but yeah so I will see you guys in the next video bye guys